so I just said as simple as butter on bread yeah welcome back to M hood fishing what the hell is he talking about today butter bread butter bread this is Ray from rig PFA uh. as simple as buttered bread like white bread with butter on it you know what does that mean well it doesn't really refer to what I'm doing at the moment but yeah I am doing a drop shot I'm going to be targeting different things it's kind of a bebop it's very windy but not too bad it was really bad yesterday and there's really not a window today where the wind is going to lay down it's going to be at best 13 at worst 15 16 so there we go that is a curly tail grub on the drop shot june bug and chartreuse should be good it is not like a peak feeding period of the day right now though we do have overcast it is about 1 15 something like that so after solar noon as well and what do i mean by as simple as butter and bread we are not doing a complicated setup we're just like getting a couple of rods to the spot check it out and then you know bebop to the next bam 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 this is going to be a quick one we both have to get up super early in the morning and fish we, you know we have a call time of 5 a.m so yeah keep it simple don't mess it up don't complicate things here we go i'm gonna have two things going here at once let's go ahead and get my second one so i brought three rods one for bass one for you know smaller things or bass like the uh perch family right well not yellow perch but the southern perch family and shoe pick so those are my three rods we're going to do two right now we're going to do the drop shot obviously and cut bait under a cork even though yeah despite the wind i'm not too worried about it i've already had a full morning i got up at 7 30. cup of tea dogs out for poop and pee and then i had to figure out a major problem that occurred yesterday look at this not dirty water's moving a little bit they were pumping earlier this morning so i'm gonna put this rod out water's moving that way this is a ready-made rig i've used before it's a float rig steel leader two aught kale small piece of cut bait i'm gonna stick that over there see where it goes put it to the side keep a watchful eye on it so yesterday morning i was in the bathroom i flushed the toilet i grabbed the dogs got outside heard running water went back inside the toilet was overflowing when i opened the bathroom door and i saw that i looked to the left and went oh wow that's not good because as clean water was flowing over the toilet poopy water was flowing backwards out of the drain into the tub my first thought once i got the toilet stopped my first thought was the problem is in the washout outside the main washout i went out there and i opened that and there was no problem in there it was low with no flow so it wasn't backed up there it was somewhere isolated to the bathroom the bathtub was backed up the toilet was backed up and sink was backed up and i hadn't been occur i hadn't been having problems prior to this it was just all of a sudden bam so yeah i had to fix that today and i thought it was going to be a nightmare but eventually i got it fixed i tried working on it yesterday but i had other things going and i also had to stick around this morning to get some uh dog food and cat food delivered from walmart by walmart which 
I had been putting that off for a while because I thought that would be way too expensive. But turns out it's not expensive to get stuff delivered from Walmart. Big lifesaver. So yeah, I had a shitty day yesterday and a shitty day today, but looking forward to a bath. I've cleaned the tub, obviously. As simple as butter, butter on bread. Nothing here, so let's try another culvert. There's a lot of options here, so we're at option number two. So this is Buccaneer Bridge or Bayou Berrier. It's not looking too bad. Partly choked over here. So we got this ditch coming off into the bayou. That can be good. The water was moving at the first culvert we went to and it changed directions while we were there. When we got there, it was going this way and then it started coming back and now it's trucking this way. So what they're doing is they're pumping this bayou down right now because they're expecting rain for like possibly three days starting on Friday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And this is just preemptive. Most excitement I've had so far. Whoa! Oh! Look at that! Got one! That is a big red ear, finally! My goodness! Going in a pond. I don't need to be one fish for today, but. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, shit, you got something. Gotcha. Maybe. For now, I got something here. It's a gar, so possible that I'm going to lose this fish. Possible that I won't. We just had a series of jets fire off over our heads. Yes. Woo, feisty spotted gar is what that is. Look at that. Wow. Doubled up. Doubled up. All right. I was beginning to wonder, but see, we started at like not a great time. Kind of. Yeah. Just afternoon. Nothing really going on. So it's kind of one of those things where you hang out long enough, you don't go anywhere, it'll happen. That's old punk rock theory for you. Old punk rock musicians or bands that are successful now, but started a long time ago, they're successful now because they never went anywhere, they never stopped. Well, that's just a little bit of success though. It's not that punk rock, but a fairly punk rock fish. But there's one fish that's here somewhere that's far more punk rock than that, but a cousin, right? A cousin of the gar. The bowfin is a distant cousin of the gar. And they have teeth too, so let's hope that we can get one. Let's keep going with the perch jerking. Yes, yes, yes. So. I took the curly tail off and now I'm just drop shotting red wiggler and all of a sudden I catch a fish first time I drop it down there. They're just not hitting soft plastics. They're not pumping as heavily. The water's still moving. That's a gill. Look at that. Sometimes when the water's moving here because of pumping, fishing's not that great. It's starting to pick up. Okay, yeah, had to switch to the red worm to catch fish today.
I'm gonna let that one go, he's kind of small. All right, look at that. Ooh. Ripping them off today, World War Three. That's what some people think when lots of jets are firing off around here. Oh, they're getting ready, they're getting ready. It's like, no, they, maybe, but it's just something that happens when you live near a base. Planes take off. Doesn't mean everything's about to end. We'll still wake up in the morning, but we got to wake up early in the morning. Yeah, you're right. So this was a fun session. We we're only out for about three and a half hours, something like that. Not a lot of fish, not real crazy, but he got some really big size, like a big, huge goggle eye, huge red ear, Jeez. some other things. Yeah, you're right. So thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, checking out his channel, link down in the description, and I will see you next time. They're blowing the leaves again. <laughs>